Hi, welcome to the Globe Aerosols Project. In the GLOBE program, 25,000 schools in 112 countries work together with scientists for a better understanding of Earth's environment. In this video, you will learn how you can help scientist Elisa to get a better understanding of tiny particles in the atmosphere, called aerosols. Hi, I'm Elisa Hendricks. I'm a climate scientist at, at the Royal Meteorological Institute of the Netherlands, KNMI. Here we are at the roof of KNMI. In the background you see the radar, which we use for weather prediction. It actually shows us where there is rain in our country. Also, to have a look higher in the atmosphere, we let up air balloons. At KNMI we do not only do weather research, but we also research climate. Climate is the average weather over a period of 30 years. Climate like weather is always changing. Since the 1850s it, had been, it has been changing more rapidly though. Global temperatures are rising and more extremities in weather occur. What interests me most are tiny particles in our atmosphere. As tiny as they are, they can influence climate. You can think of, for example, dust and sea salt or volcanic ash, but you also can think of human sources, like traffic-induced sources and, uh, for example, industry. Aerosols, as small as they are, they influence our climate in an important way. They scatter and absorb sunlight, but also they influence the formation of clouds. White aerosols, they are called white because they scatter more than they absorb light, but what these particles also do is that they form cloud droplets, which are smaller than the average cloud droplets. You can think of contrails, for example. A so-called black aerosol mostly absorbs uh, sunlight. And what these particles do is that they locally heat up the Earth's atmosphere. What they also do is that they tend to evaporate clouds, so clouds are less easily formed. These white aerosols, they cool the atmosphere. These black aerosols, they heat up the atmosphere. Because of all these factors, even climate scientists do not fully understand their role in climate. But you can help us. The American Space Agency NASA and the European Space Agency ESA have launched satellites with instruments to observe Earth's atmosphere from space. Two important measuring instruments on these satellites are OMI and MODIS. The KNMI is responsible for the scientific observations made with the OMI instrument. One of the things that OMI does is measuring aerosols. And this is where we receive satellite data, like that of OMI. Satellite data, like that of OMI, they always need to be validated by ground measurements, so measurements at the Earth's surface. One type of instruments we do this with is with professional sun photometers. But we only have a few of these around in Europe, so we can use more sun photometer measurements, like the ones of GLOBE. With such a sun photometer you measure the sunlight, and you can imagine that aerosols they influence sunlight, so when there are more aerosols in the atmosphere, there is less light coming into this uh, instrument. Both. How does such a sun photometer actually work? When you have a look inside, you see that there are a red and a green LED light. So this is how you turn on the sun photometer. Now it's on temperature and you can turn this to measure the green LED and to measure with the red LED. When you now have a look at the front, you see that there are two extensions to this box. One with a hole and one with a blue dot. How do you now actually measure the sunlight? You point the sun photometer about towards the sunlight. But to align it correctly, like pointing exactly at the sun, you make sure that the, sun, uh, the sunlight falls through this little hole, making a, light, a small light circle 
um, that matches the blue dot. By doing so, the sunlight falls directly through these through holes at the bottom of this box and add the two LEDs. At KNMI, we found that these simple instruments are about as accurate as the professional ones. We even um, published an article about it. By joining the GLOBE Aerosol project and taking sun photometer measurements, you are not the only one. Everywhere in the world, GLOBE schools can take part in this project. It is important to work accurate with these type of measurements. That is why we also ask you to, for each uh, channel, the red and the green channel, to measure three to five times in a row. What is also important is that you accurately note all of this information on this data sheet, together with the cloud conditions, air temperature and other meteorological information you think is important. After having gathered all this information on this data sheet, you go to the website of GLOBE, globe.gov, and there you can upload all of the data. At this website you can have a look at your data, but you can also have a look at everyone else's data of all the schools around the world. I will download the data and use it for my research. I will gather it from all schools and report back to you. So thanks for watching and I look forward to work together with you on Globe Aerosols. Globe, we're from all the nations. Globe, doing investigations. Globe, water, soil and air. Globe, we measure and compare to save the globe. And give us hope. Yeah, that is hope. We're looking for the facts. Globe. To share them with our contacts. Globe. Gonna make sure today. Globe. This work will be okay. Let's save the globe. globe. And give us hope. hope. Yeah, that is hope. hope.